global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. The controversy surrounding the issue of monthly salaries for our lawmakers seems to have been put to rest. It all started when Shehu Sani came up to tell Nigerians that when he was a senator some 13 years ago, he always get an alert back on his account with a sum of 18 million naira. In other words, they pay into his account 18 million naira. That was uh, totally uh, refuted by a particular body responsible for fixing the salaries of an lawmaker, talking about the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, RMAFC, as they told Nigerians that that was not true, that every senator walks away with just 1 million naira, 60, uh, 1, 63, naira on a monthly basis. Nigerians were not comfortable with it only for another son in senator a saving senator had to tell nigerians talking about the nnpp kanu south senator senator abdurraham kawu shamila he told nigerians that he gets a whooping sum of 21 million naira on a monthly basis alongside his basic salary so the big question is why was rmafc Telling Nigerians something different. I mean, it's something that is worth asking. And uh, you're going to hear exactly what NLC have to say. But then, let me just share some videos with you. You get to hear exactly what Shehu said. And also, the reaction of some TV uh, media personnel in respect. She clearly mentioned in the release by the uh, commission, uh, talking about referencing you and also saying that anybody that has a contrary opinion should be held accountable for that. I will need your quick response, sir. Uh, well, I... I spoke as someone who uh, was a senator, and I believe I had adequate and correct knowledge of what actually transpired at that time, and I believe was what is happening now. Uh, well, the raw uh, resource mobilization and physical allocation commission were just playing with figures. Uh, they said they were specific in saying this is the salary of uh, the, the, the legislators, or specifically the, the senators. And then they went on to give uh, a breakdown of uh, 20 million, which they said was what uh, every senator earns in four years. But uh, they, I think they have been economical with the truth, and I can the truth, and I think I can understand their fears and apprehensions in terms of telling the truth when they know what is actually happening. Uh, while before I come to this interview, I was going through the papers and I saw this statement credited to one of the senators from Kano, uh, distinguished Senator Kao Smiler, who confirmed what I said, uh, that uh, the senators, uh, particularly of this uh, set uh, National Assembly, uh, are receiving out of 21 million uh, naira uh, uh, monthly. And during my time, um, I was in the Senate, and I was picked by my conscience as an activist who went to the Senate to uh, unveil what has been made uh, secret for over two decades. And I believe that uh, taxpayers and Nigerians in general have the right to know uh, how much their legislators uh, are earning and how much they are actually being given. And I went on as a senator, serving senator then, to disclose what I do receive monthly, what is credited into my account. At that time, it was 13.5 million uh, plus 750,000. And um, what the present serving senator, uh, confirmed uh, is in line with what I said. And uh, if you receive an alert of 21 million or at our time 13.5 million, I cannot say I received 1 million or 2 million. It is what I received. And what I know very well is that there is the basic salary. In our time was 750 and now they said it's 1 million. And there is what is called running cost of your office. And the running cost of your office is not sent to the office account. It's sent to your own personal account. And then so I don't know how uh, it's all semantics that uh, are trying to play with figures, but I can confirm that whatever comes to your account uh, is due for you, irrespective of whatever uh, appellation is being attached to it. The point is that if I receive 21 million monthly, and, and I said I, I received 21 million, and then maybe explanation can come later, but it goes to my own personal account, and I was told this is how I would do it. That's a different thing. Let's, let us receive uh, three uh, allocations. The first is there. Salary. The second is the running cost of office. That running cost of office is used to maintain your office in the National Assembly and then the one in the constituency. But it is not 
the money you are also given to pay your staff. All the staff that all the executive aid which you which you employ are paid by the National Assembly. So it's, they are not paid from that amount of money. And then thirdly is the constituency funds, which of course is not money that is being given or credited to the account of senators and honorable members, but it's money that is domiciled in a federal agency for which you are required to submit projects uh, within that envelope. And some will say they want build hospitals, some schools, some roads, and want to do empowerment programs, and then you submit it, and then the government or the agency, you submit the, the list now executed in your own constituency. So these are all simple things which the resource mobilization should be able to uh, and I don't uh, think there is need for anybody to deceive Nigerians or to cover up anything. Uh, this is public money and it's been paid to legislators and I think we should come out and publicly say it. And, and that is what I did. Uh, so I saw what they shown out to the public, one million naira and then six for this, that, that and then 20, but they know that it's not true. All right, Senator, apparently uh, what you're saying is that their story is incomplete. They didn't go through. So this running cost, do you... Uh, we, just, we just have barely one or two minutes to the end of the program. Do we have, um, is, do you retire this running cost at the end? Or do you account for it or you don't account for it? You account, you account for it, but whatever it is, it goes to your own personal account. <laughs> so if money, if, if there's an account separate for your office than your own personal account, then, then we will we'll say it's your own, that money was sent to you. But you credit my account with such an amount of money. And I believe that that money belongs to me. And you're only telling me what to do with it, but it's still it goes to me. Okay. So you retire. You retire with receipts on all things you do. Yes. So at the end of the day, Senator, it, it, it means that, uh, that what, what you have. So why do you think they are not? I did it once. Is it the Revenue Committee or Commission that pays this running cost of the senator's account, just for the purpose of the audience? Well, I, I, I don't know, but okay. um, I don't know who pays. But I only know that I receive a lot, okay. and it's not for me to start asking who is sending me the money when I know everyone is receiving which amount of money. As long as money comes to me, fine, and then I do what I should do with it. Asking where it comes from is not my own. Nigerians are really reacting over this particular uh, issue, which for me, it has been laid to rest. And someone recommended that uh, some of the head of Parastita should be fired and possibly sent to jail for trying to deceive Nigeria. And that Senator Shehusani knows what he's saying because he works in the chamber and receives salary and allowance firsthand. I don't know why they were hiding it. It's one question that most Nigerians are, ask, ask, are asking. And another person reacting to it says, this is the way for you to know who exactly... He said, this is how you know where this issue of corruption is coming from. Imagine a sitting senator is telling Nigerians the truth, and another person, because he sets their salary, is coming to tell us something else. Oga, what are you scared of? Hmm. And some other person reacting to it says, that is none of our business. Already, this issue of salary, we know that these guys walk away with something very big. Another person reacting said, it's high time the RMA FC created an official website and published allowances Salaries and other emolument of HOA as House of Assembly members quarterly, the constitu constituency project for members as senators should also be scrapped as this is one reason they don't represent the people's interest but rather the executive arm. Hmm. Another person reacting to it said, but why Nigerian government doing everything possible to hide the real ending of Nigerian politicians? I mean, if you go to UK, America and other European countries, the salaries of public representatives are made public. And guess what? That's exactly how it should be. Why are you hiding? That's one big question that most Nigerians have been asking. Another person said 21 is not the right figure. Did you include all the model men in their figure? It's 29 monthly inclusive of all allowance. Hmm. This one, I, I, I can't take yours for an answer, being that uh, the person who is a sitting senator is the one telling us. So I think we better go with his. Some other person here says, the legislature legislate the emolument. The executive strive in contract inflation, and both the executive and legislature agree to increase the emolument of the judiciary. The three arms of government are adequately taking care of themselves and leaving the people to themselves. This one here says, this is what you should expect from people who do not even care about us. RMAFC only announced what they are entitled to officially. Whatever is on top, RMAFC details have been added illegally by NAS leadership. Mm. This other one here says, It's high time the RMAFC create... Okay, I've already taken that. Uh, the last person I'm going to take here says, They omitted to... That is how they have been omitting figure when it comes to issues like this and adding figures when it comes to explaining humanitarian welfare. I want to talk more on this, but what's your position in respect to this? Do you think that uh, they are doing this thing uh, 
by virtue of uh, they want to protect the interests of senator or they are just doing it because uh, we analyze global